Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, I'm not doing this quite the normal way, I'm going to be doing pretty much a speedrun here, because um, a few days ago, earlier this month, uh, I got uh, directed to watch this video talking about why Odyssey is a bad game. It's two hours long, so I said, you know, I could probably complete the game in less time than it would take to watch this video. I'm gonna put that to the test. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna- I have a strict two hour time limit here. Uh, if I can't make it in two hours, then video ends. Uh, in order to do this right, uh, I've actually set up a proper, you know, splitter thingy. I have never used one of these before, so, uh, we'll see how we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got the right splits and everything, and we're all hooked up, so yeah. This is also the first time I've tried to record a Switch game using OBS instead of the Game Capture HD stuff, because I couldn't get Live Split to show up in uh, the Elgato software. So yeah, that's the dealio. Uh, we are about to get started. Uh, the ruling for this game, I believe, is that the counter actually starts when you select the option here. Uh, so we're going to do that now. Oh god, <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. Uh, we want to skip as many cutscenes as possible to save time. I'm not like a professional speedrunner or anything, so I'm not expecting to get a really good time, but speedrunners take less than one hour to beat this game, so hopefully I can do it within two hours. We'll see how we do. Uh... Let me stand up, please. Looking around. I just realized I didn't turn down the volume on the TV. Uh, hang on. There we go, done. That's gonna slow me down a little bit. <laughs> uh, that wasn't good. Okay, now we've got Cappy. So what we want to do with Cappy is just immediately make our way over here. The fastest way to move in this game, by the way, is by rolling, so we're doing a lot of that. Oh god, that's really bad. I'm not doing well. I have no idea how long people normally take to get through the Cap Kingdom, but it's less time than I'm taking, for sure. I am shaking the controller right now, that's why I'm getting the little yellow speed boosts. Uh, that's a very good idea, if you want to go fast while rolling. Okay, now we're a frog. I'm gonna keep holding Y all the time here. Uh, so we can go as fast as possible. Uh, you can't uncapture the frog until you get to the end of this room, so we can't go back to Mario to do things quicker. Okay, then we want to go, uh, this way, I believe. Oh god, I'm- I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Doing things fast is not my forte. Yeah, I just did that real bad. Okay, hopefully we can make up the time later. <laughs> what you're supposed to do there is pull off a triple jump in order to get onto this ramp from much lower down. But I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, boss time. This guy is a huge wuss, so hopefully we should be okay to take him out without too much hassle. Uh, the way you speed the boss up is by jumping on the hat that he's in, but I'm having trouble doing that, so there we go. Uh, you can't skip this cutscene. Okay, I'm guessing that's not a very good time for Cap Kingdom. Uh, we never need to come back here though, so... Uh, the fact that, for example, we missed the flag doesn't really affect us at all. I'm gonna call that a split. Okay, um... Can't skip this either. Fingers crossed, y'all. We're gonna do our best. <laughs> our best may not be very good. Uh, okay. Guys, yep, we wanna skip. Skip again. Skip again. Uh, we can't skip this. Just press the button over and over. There we go.
Okay, here, uh, we can't do first moon skip because we are on 1.3. Uh, it says that on my little splitter thingy, if you were wanting to know. So we have to do first moon. Uh, we'll do it the normal way, that should be the fastest. Uh, that does mean we have to go through an unskippable cutscene or two, unfortunately. But there's no way to skip this moon unless you're on 1.0, which I'm not. So I can't do that. Uh, our first power moon, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to do, uh, dinosaur skip or dino skip or whatever we call it. Uh, hopefully that should save us some time. We'll see how we do. Happy talking, happy talking. Another cutscene here, you can't skip this either. If we could do first moon skip, we could skip all of these cutscenes, but we can't, unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to do that yet. We are going to go over to where the T-Rex is. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble doing this well. <laughs> uh, this is pretty much the first like time I've ever tried to do anything approximating a speedrun, so... It's a bit scary. <laughs> Uh, I'm having fun. Uh, that's probably what really matters. Yep. Okay, Dino Skip is done. Uh, now we want to do this boss battle. I don't really sure what the fastest way to do this is, but I imagine capturing the chomp as quickly as possible will help us a lot. Take a few hits, doesn't really matter. Two. Takes three hits, in case you were wondering. Like a lot of bosses in every video game. Okay, we took another hit, but that's okay. When we grab the moon, we'll actually heal, so... No big deal. There we go, we can't skip this cutscene either. And there is our collection of multi-moon. Can't skip this cutscene either. Uh, we need to grab one more moon. I believe the easiest one to get uh, would be the one up near that flag. Not that flag. You'll see the one once we once we um, get past this cutscene. Uh, we need five moons and you get uh, one first power moon plus that one is four. So yeah, you need exactly one more moon and we're about to grab it. Can't skip any of this, by the way. There's, there's a lot of unskippable cutscenes in this game, unfortunately. Uh, lots of cutscenes are skippable, but a lot of them are not. Okay, so what we want to do is go over this way. We want to grab this moon. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! And that's all the moons we need from Cascade, so let's get out of here. And waste a little bit of time there. Okay. I really like the music that plays when the Odyssey takes off for the first time, but we can skip that cutscene, so we're gonna skip that cutscene. <laughs> Split one. I split two, I guess, actually. Okay. Just waste a little bit of time there. Okay, uh, this cutscene we can skip. This cutscene we can skip. Uh, there's a little bit of talking to Cappy here, which we can't skip. Every time we fly somewhere in the Odyssey before finishing the game, uh, Cappy talks to us, so we can't skip any of these. But this is the only one that makes the action guide come up, so we just get that over with. We can proceed. Uh, I'm on 1.3, so theoretically all the loading times should be relatively quick. Uh, that's the reason 1.3 is actually the better game for speedrunning than 1.0, despite there being more glitches you can use on 1.0. It's very interesting. Uh, I believe real speedrunners uh, tend to exploit the uh, timer in the game. Uh, I mean, like, the, the Switch's system timer is what I mean, I'm just phrasing it wrong. Uh, in order to get one of the seed moons really, really quickly. Uh, I'm not going to do that, 
because I haven't set that up. You have to time it really perfectly for that to work. Uh, we're going to grab this one up here, though. Right there in the middle of nowhere. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we're also going to grab this one in this pipe here. So what they do is they go into this pipe. The time zone, like, goes from daylight savings time to not or something while they're in here. Uh, this is the right spot. But here. What are you doing wrong? I'm wasting so much time. <laughs> there we go. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can do this quickly. We'll see how we go. Uh, I don't really know what route speedrunners usually take for these areas. Uh, it's possible this is not an optimal way of doing things, but there is a moon in here, so let's grab it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! By the way, Cappy changes into that, that different hat uh, during the cutscene as you leave the Cascade Kingdom. If you're wondering, you know, why she looks different now, that's what, why, that's what happens. Uh, I think now we just want to head over towards the next area, which is over here. Uh, we can get to the moon on top of this big rock here, on top of the, like, gateway sort of thing, by using this piece of ice as a platform. There is a coin on top of that, so if you're doing a coinless run, you have to watch out. Oops. Uh, that's not good. You're really supposed to, like, get a bullet bill to get this, but we're gonna do it this way. It's much faster. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! Uh, we need 16 moons here. We probably won't need any of the story moons, but we'll see how we go. Uh, speedrunners have a trick to skip walking on this sand, uh, which lets you get out of this area much quicker. Uh, but it's really fiddly and hard, so... I figured capturing the bullet was probably the fastest way, rather than trying to lure it. Yeah! Uh, there's a speedrun trick where you can get to that platform really early uh, by using the bullets, but I don't think I want to risk that, because uh, it's quite tricky. Uh, why did I capture that? <laughs> uh, I didn't really plan this out beforehand, I maybe should have done. I think there are maybe two moons I can get by going up the middle part. Um, we may buy some moons, I'm not quite sure if that is helpful or not. We'll see how we do. Yeah! Okay, we're most of the way there. I think. Eight out of sixteen? Yeah, we're halfway there. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this 2D area, I think there's a moon hidden in it? I don't really remember. Uh, it is possible to skip this 2D area, but it's real hard. Oh, we don't gonna worry about the blue coins. I usually take this a lot more slowly than I'm doing right now. Uh, duck, because you can just duck under them most of the time. But, I think there's a moon if I go just here. I think. Yeah, there is. Good. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah, it could have just been some purple coins I've forgotten. <laughs> so thank goodness for that. Uh, and then we can get up here to get another one. Uh, we can get two more moons worth taking to the Sphinx uh, behind this building, so we'll do that. Uh, there's also a secret uh, passageway we can get into for another moon. Secret passages down here. There's a much faster way to get to this too, involving clipping through the wall, but I don't think we can do that in 1.3, so we won't. Oops. Okay, we can get two more moons from the Sphinx, which we'll do now. Oh, the Sphinx is just over here. Uh, the ring. 
how that unlocks this. You can clip in clip into this wall behind the Sphinx instead of moving it, which lets you get this moon and the one in the other room. Uh, but I don't think you can do that in 1.3. In yeah! We might want to grab some coins, I guess we want to buy a moon later. Let's grab a couple. Don't worry too much about that. Uh, if we talk to the Sphinx again, we can get a couple more moons, but it's kind of slow. Mm, let's give it a try. Uh, 30. You have to do three questions, I believe. Uh, ice. Uh, five, I think. Oh, it's four questions. Uh, your name is Sphinx. I like Quiz Kitty. I think that's a cute name. Yeah. Okay, uh, now... We've got nearly all the moons we need now. Uh, I'm gonna head for the Oasis, I think. We can get some stuff over that direction. I don't know what the fastest moons to get are, so I'm just making things up. I know, like, roughly what moons exist, so I can sort of make an educated guess that way, but... I don't know what the quickest routes are or anything. This is improvised, pretty much. Ow. Yeah! Okay, we're nearly done with sand, we just need two more. And there should be at least two in the oasis we can get pretty quickly, so that should be fine. Is the oasis. Yeah! Okay, that went well. I wasn't expecting the bird to show up at this exact time. Uh, yep. And that's 16. Yeah! Happy teaches you about flying around. Uh, back to the Aussie, please. Okay, um, so that's Sand Kingdom done. Lake Kingdom is next. It's pretty short, so I should be able to get that one done relatively quickly. Uh, but then Wooded Kingdom is a bit more difficult and a bit longer. It does have, um, Multi-Moon available relatively early, though, so we might be able to make use of that. We'll see. I'm not sure when the right time to put the splits is. I'm basically just splitting. Okay, yeah, we say that leave because we didn't do that. Can't skip that. I think it's there is where you're supposed to split. When the, the screen goes out, we're taking you to the next place. Lake. Okay, we're now leaving for Lake. Get the cutscene. Get the cutscene again. Happy talking, happy talking, happy talking. Uh, yeah, you just get a little hint about how to play the game, and you get told a little bit about the area you're going to as well, basically. Okay, um... The Lake Kingdom is very small. We only need eight moons here, I believe. Yes, eight. Uh, and a lot of them are pretty easy to get to as well. So we'll just go over here for our first moon. Yeah! Uh, then we're gonna do a bit of a fancy schmancy jump here. Cappy's really impressed with that. It's not really that hard, but I guess, like, if you're a new player and you've just figured that out, it's cool. Another moon in here. Yeah! That's, uh, two out of eight. Um, there's a moon there on Plessy's back. Hello, Plessy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, actually, it's not Plessy, that's, um, Dory. Yeah, Plessy's a different one. Now we can quickly get up to the plaza from here. Oh, go for a jump. I messed it up. Didn't really demonstrate that very well, but, yeah, you can jump up, reach the top part, uh, without having to go through all the lower stuff, which is nice. Uh, 
not really the way I want to go, actually. I'm not planning things through out very well, as you may have noticed. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how we go. Okay, so we can break this open. There's a moon there. It goes back over where we just were. I just did that in the wrong order. I forgot what side the box was on. <laughs> like, I knew that you've opened it up and it goes over to the other side, but I didn't know which side it came from. So... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, how we doing? Uh, we need four more moons. Getting the multi-moon is probably one of the quickest ways at this point. And it's very easy, because the bosses are not hard. Oops. If you can jump on this guy, he bounces less, but it's a bit tricky because of the way his height moves. I'm just gonna outrun him. I'm wasting so much time, it's embarrassing. <laughs> uh. The cutscene for that is longer, but I think because it's three moons, it probably works out as o works out okay. I'm not sure though. Okay, we're still one moon short. Uh, what's the quickest one to get? Uh, probably this one. There we go. Cool. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's all we need for here. Let's go. Ash in our moons. Okay, Wooded Kingdom is a bit longer, so we'll see how we go. Then Cloud Kingdom is very short. Lost Kingdom is relatively short. Metro is pretty long. Hmm. Cappy talking, cappy talking, cappy talking, cappy talking. Okay, I'm gonna start with pretty much, I think, a speedrun tactic. Uh, you go and grab the rock, which is over here. That one. Then you run over to the bunny, which is over there. Easy to hit the bunny because the rock gives you like extra reach. And then you can break the rock. It takes a little while uh, for another moon, quite quickly. Although it lasts a pretty long time, which is pretty annoying. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, uh, talking to the Sphinx does not give you a moon in this kingdom, so I'm not going to bother. But I'm going to go up here. And get an uproot. Uh, you can do this without an uproot, but it's much, much slower. And we're going for speed here.
Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're gonna bring our uproot with us uh, over here. I think if it goes in the water, it's okay. Yeah, good. Uh, watch out for the fire bro there. I'm gonna get burnt. Should be able to get up there. Eh, let's do that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're at four moons. We're getting there, we're getting there. And that's when the air music for this area actually starts. It takes a little while for some reason. Um, probably for drama reasons, honestly. Uh, you. Yeah, you. There we go. Let's go up here. Hello, fireman. I need to get through here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's five. Uh... Oh, we're gonna skip that maze there because there's no moon in it yet. There will be a moon in it, but I think it's a post-game one, so... Can't get it yet. I got this guy to get another story moon. Ba -da -ba. You can skip this moon if you want. Um, it's very tricky though. Uh, it's possible to do a triple jump and get up to that platform on the left side there instead of opening the pathway the normal way. Uh, we are going to go this way uh, because we can get another moon over there. <laughs> Yeah! Okay, uh, then we're gonna go... This way? Uh, the path is a bit winding, so it'll be a little slower than I would like, but... Uh, it'll work. It'll work. That gets us into this tower. Uh, here... You want to climb to the top. You don't need to hit these switches, nor do you need to capture an uproot, but I think it will be faster if we do, so... Let's go for some speed. Uh, hang on. I know this is slowing things down, but I think this is worth it. There we go, twice as much health to work with. Uh, we do want to use an uproot here because there is a moon we can only get using one, as far as I can tell, anyway. Uh, the not plane in the tower is not the one. Uh, there is another one that is at the very top. That one is very easy to get without using an uproot. The other one, not so much. This one. Yeah, I don't know how to get that one without using an uproot. Supposedly it's possible, but I don't know how. <laughs> okay, now we're at the top. Uh, we can fight our next boss. Uh, it's Spew It. Spew It's pretty easy. You just jump on him. And then you jump on him again. Oh. There we go. And then you jump on him again. And then... until he goes into the hat, and then you jump on him again. Ugh, the way the hat works is really confusing. And that's going to give us a multi-moon, which gets us a lot closer to progressing. Okay, uh, let me see. We're getting close to a half hour. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see if I can make it within two hours. 
Again, this is like the first time I've ever tried to do this, so there's a good chance I won't, but, you know, it's fun. Okay, uh, yeah, with the movie. So we're not done here yet, we still need another four moons. We already got you, bunny. Uh, the Sphinx is now gone, as you can see. Uh, you, you can talk to the Sphinx and get it to move out of the way sooner, but there's no reason to. So, you don't really need to do that. Uh, I think probably the fastest way to do this is going to be to grab one of these guys. Head in here first. Give me a seed. Then I want to go grab an uproot. Uproots move slower than Mario, unfortunately. So that slows us down a bit. Oh right, that hasn't spawned yet. That's a post-game moon. Dang it. Alright. Let's just continue having wasted a little bit of time there. Okay. Uh, we can go and charge up over here for a moon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're at 30 minutes, and we still need three more moons. Hmm. <laughs> Should be two moons in this sub-area? I don't remember what this one is, though. It might be something annoying. Oh, it's the fog room. That's right. Okay, that's probably fine. I can make this work. Happy's telling us what power moon shards are, because we haven't found any yet. Uh, you're supposed to find one in, in uh... Uh, the Sand Kingdom, but we skipped it. We didn't find it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, I'm um, grabbing the moon shards in order to get the other one. There we go, not too tricky. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, and we need one more moon from somewhere. Uh, probably the fastest just jump down here. Yeah, that was the fastest. Okay, then we want to land so we can warp back to the Odyssey. And we are done with Wooded. And we're at about a half hour. Uh, may maybe we can do this. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Uh, I am wasting a lot of time in various places. Um, and again, this is basically the first time I've ever tried to do this, so... I'm not really surprised that I'm having some trouble. Okay, so next we'll, it'll say we're going to the uh, Metro Kingdom, but we will be interrupted. So this is the first Bowser fight, uh, here in the Cloud Kingdom. Oh my god. Wasting so much time. Embarrassing. Okay. Boss battle time, here we go. Yeah, this is very easy. Max 
accidentally put my thumb on the camera. That's why the camera moved around. <laughs> All good. This one is slightly harder, I guess. Not really, though. Okay, and then third and final. Not sure how, how Bowser decides if she's gonna shoot out, like, flames or not. Like, sometimes when she jumps and lands, she shoots out flames and sometimes she doesn't. Not really clear how that works. And done. Okay, Cloud Kingdom is very short. That's literally what we have to do here. And now we're in Lost Kingdom. Uh, you can do this without losing Cappy, but I don't think it'll be faster, so we're going to lose Cappy. Like his cappy. <laughs> it's not very hard to rescue her, fortunately. All we gotta do is make our way over here. And Jump correctly, ideally. There we go. There we go. And then we can put her back on her head, and we're good. Okay, so we need ten moons here. There's one here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Uh, one just over there. Backflip. Mess it up. <sighs> That's not good for my timer. Uh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, that time it was fine. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's just embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Yeah! Okay, so that's three. Uh, we can get another one from this fellow. Ah, oh, dang it. Take a little bit longer. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba yeah! Okay, we're nearly halfway. Once we grab this one, we'll be halfway. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh. That block there, it was getting in my way. <laughs> uh, let's grab this one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! This way. Get some more. There's two over here. There's one on this on the outside and there's one in the 2D section. And there's me falling in another pit. I'm playing real bad. I think the pressure's getting to me. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna wait for the platform to move. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, and we can get another one by going inside the, the wall instead of out.
Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, we need two more. Please go faster. Uh, we're getting the shards be efficient. Yeah, let's just get the shards. You can use um a wiggler to cross these gaps instead of just jumping, but you can also just jump. That's fine. Might grab Wiggler for the last one though. Yeah, with these guys, you hold the Y button and you go whoop, and it's super funny. There we go. And that spawns a moon over there. And we're going to use this, mech, this uh, Tropical Wiggler to grab the last moon as well, uh, which is over this way. You can do that without the wiggler, but you can do it with if you want. Hello, Captain Toad. Give me a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, and we'll just go grab one from the shards and we're good to go. I'm a little wary of jumping out of this wiggler while we're on these little tiny platforms. Uh, hence, still using it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, now we'll walk back to the Odyssey, and we're done with Lost Kingdom. Uh, six minutes? About? Roughly six minutes. That's alright. Okay, now we can actually get to the Metro Kingdom for real. Uh, the Metro Kingdom, we have to first go and do the boss battle. It is non-optional. Uh, unless you use some glitches and stuff to get enough moons to leave immediately. But you're not supposed to be able to do that as a glitch. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, first we're going to want to do the boss. There are a couple of moons you can grab before that, but there's way more moons you can grab after that, so I think it's probably going to be in our best interest to go do the boss as soon as possible. Uh, we're going by the rooftops because there's no bad guys up there. So hopefully we can make our way through a bit more efficiently this way. That's my theory anyway. Let's see how we do. One we'll land on the thing. Yes. I'm not too worried about coins, fortunately. Uh, sometimes I am. In this particular run, I am not. So the fact that there's coins everywhere will not be a problem. Uh, here. The music has changed. Oh, there are a couple of moons on the way that are pretty easy to get and we'll just grab them. For example, there's one. Yeah! here. <sighs> okay, this part is a nightmare if you're going coinless, but we're not doing coinless, so we're okay. <laughs> it is absolutely 
terrible to get through here, Coinless. Because yeah, every enemy gets you a coin. Uh, the posters on the walls get you coins. Everything everywhere gives you all the coins. I just really want you to have coins. Um, coming this way, maybe a little slower than not coming this way, but you get a moon out of it, so I think it's worth doing. Okay, we're now nearly at the top of the building. Uh, you can climb up here with wall jumps, but it's going to be faster to use the zip line. We can activate the boss battle by jumping up here. There we are, boss battle time. Okay, so the boss battle, you have to do it in one of these tanks. So we'll grab a tank. Okay, you're gonna have to hit them twice. So this is a pretty short boss fight. Uh, we've done the first hit. All we gotta do is just dodge a little bit until they're vulnerable again and we can do the second hit. I'm not really sure why they decided this boss had to be mandatory. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense in my opinion. To make a boss that's done using a capture form and one that's like so weird and shooty required. Uh, rather than, you know, some of the other bosses. Uh, I didn't take it out quick enough. I'm gonna waste some more time. boss defeated. Okay. Naturally, it's powered by a multi-moon, so we get a multi-moon. Uh, we're still, I believe, 15 moons short. You need a lot for this area. It's like the greediest area in the game. Hmm, I don't know if ducking the audio whenever I speak was such a good idea. I don't know. That's what, that's what I've told it to do. Um... It does make certain things sound a bit weird. Let's jump city. Okay. So yeah, now it's daytime in the city, but we need, uh, another 15 moons. Uh, so first there's one over here. We can get pretty much for free. ba da ba Yeah! Hello. Uh, speedrunners do this with Mario on the um, little scooter instead of using the remote control car, but I don't know how to do that. It's possible to like lean the scooter so it's eclipsed inside and you touch the moon, but I don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna do it the normal way. Yeah. Probably a little slower, but eh, it'll work. Hello, bench friends. Yeah! Obviously the best moon in the game.
I'm just sort of wandering around looking for other places to get moons. I don't remember where they all are. <laughs> uh, I think this is the germ room. There's a couple moons in here. Yep, this is the germ room. I really like this music, by the way. Out of my way, germs. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And then we get a fun little side area if we go this way. I think it's possible to skip to the end of this. Uh, like you can jump up to up there and get the moon immediately, but uh, you'd miss the other moon on the way and it's also quite a big jump. This is quite hard coinless, by the way. <laughs> there's coins everywhere. And those coin rings and things. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. I don't want to throw Cappy there because otherwise you'll break your legs. Then I'll slow you down, having broken legs. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, and we get one more moon in the germ room as well, I believe. So, let's grab that one on our way back. Pew, pew, pew. I like going down pipes fast like that. I think it's pretty cute. But yeah, you have to jump on here to get up here. In order to get into these swingy things, in order to reach the other moon in the germ room. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're getting there. Uh, I need to stop running into things. Close you down. Yeah. We love urban energy. Or whatever that is. Five more. Getting close. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. What else is Well, we can go the slow way. Let's do it quicker. This is one of the few moons you can get uh, before you've done the, the um, boss here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, but I don't think it's much quicker that way. Just like a sidetrack while you're trying to go do the boss. Three more moon. Uh, we can get one in here. 
Just one though. Okay, um... Lots of jungle back and forth here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, probably should have gotten the ones outside first. Would have been a little bit quicker. Eh, that's alright. Yeah, Metro is one of the longer kingdoms in the game, and I've nearly finished it at this point, so... Need two more moons, let's go on this- let's get, take this taxi. This is a side area where you're supposed to use a tank. We're gonna use a tank for the speed, but you can mostly not use a tank and it still works. But yeah, we've got moon shards to collect, and to shoot them, I believe. Yep. Got other tanks to watch out for. We got taxis to destroy. All that fun stuff. Uh, that's just coins, I believe, if you ground pound that spot, so I'm not gonna bother. There's Moon. Uh, I think the last Moon shot is just down there somewhere, right? Mm. It's possible to get a tank over here, there's some invisible blocks, but... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, but where's the last Moon? I missed. I did everything. Hmm. Oh, I'm so close. I need another tank. Ah, there it is. Okay. That's Metro Kingdom done. Uh, that one took a little bit longer, but it's longer, so it makes sense that it takes a bit longer. <laughs> The Odyssey. Okay, next is Snow. Uh, and Seaside Luncheon. Still got a ways to go. Okay, so the game's about halfway done, and I've still got roughly an hour to do the other half. So, in theory, I should be okay. Although the second half is the harder part, so, I don't know. <laughs> Metro Kingdom is roughly the midway point. Like, it's it's one of the biggest, like, kingdoms with the most stuff to it, and it's in the middle of all the other kingdoms. If I pass Metro Kingdom, I think I can do this within two hours. Um... But we'll see. Whoa. 
Okay, so firstly, once we get into Javaria Town, there's a bunch of like moons that are just scattered here in the main area. So we'll start with those. For example, if you go over here, do a little backflip. Let's do it again, but better. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Enters to Shavaria, moon one of ten. It's ten. You get onto this bridge thingy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Shavarian treasure chest, moon two of ten. Yeah! Okay, so we're getting three that pretty easily that way. Uh, then we pretty much have to go for the main parts of the kingdom. There are some more outside, like on, in Chevaria proper, but there's not much point going for them. Because most of the stuff that's supposed to be there hasn't spawned yet. Um, Ba -da -ba. Yeah. Mm. Pretty much have to uh, pack capture here because you could blow all these guys off the edge. Break the moon up here. I think you could probably push them off with Cappy, but it's much harder. Um, ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -ba -da. Da -da. Da -da -da. I'm gonna get a little drink of water while this cutscene plays. Like a lot of the story moons, the little panel it's on activates something once you grab the moon. Okay. <sighs> Try this one. I don't remember which one is which because they all look pretty much the same. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, this is a good one. So here, the chompy guys aren't really much of a threat. And the uh, moon shards themselves are kind of just busy work, really. You don't really need to get them. Well, you, you do to make the moon appear, but it's not really part of the challenge. There we go. Like, the interesting part is, is the part where you climb up there. And bonk on something annoyingly. Oh my god. Yeah, this is cold water, so you don't want to stand in it, because you will take damage. You don't need too many moons for snow. Uh, ten, I think, so... It shouldn't take us too long to get all of them. Uh, before we leave this room, do a little bit of uh, climbing on this wall. Uh, if you shake the controller, you go a lot faster, which is what I'm doing. But I can go nice and fast. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we need three more moons. That didn't quite go the way I expected, but it worked. <sighs> Crown pipe, Mario. Okay, here, uh, you can pretty much skip this whole area, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's do that, just to demonstrate. And also, because we only need one moon from here, I'm gonna grab two from the other room. See? Easy. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -ba -da. Da -da. Da -da -da. I think you can't do it without using like a crappy roll jump or another like trick people have discovered rather than the built-in types of jump. But with a crappy roll jump, there you go. Easy peasy. Okay, uh, one more barrier. It's the one over here. You can tell from the flames that they're lit up or not lit up, uh, which ones you need to do still. Okay, here. Yeah, again we've got two moons to get, so... Uh. 
Going up. Here you have to make sure you spot this. Or to get this moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, and for the last one, uh, you have to fight a boss. But this probably isn't the most efficient way of doing this. <laughs> uh, but it'll work. It's this guy again. Slightly more threatening now. I was trying to backflip, but I was still moving. Ow. Okay, boss done. And that's all the moons we need from Snow Kingdom. Grab another little drink while this happens. Okay, Seaside. I think you need a few more in Seaside. We'll see how we go. Uh, then luncheon, I think luncheon you need like 18 or something, you need quite a lot. Uh, ruined you need three, basically you need to do the boss and you get three moons, it's pretty simple. Uh, Bowsette's Kingdom, you need I think nine, technically. Um, it doesn't really, you have to do the, the story moons in that kingdom in order to progress rather than... Okay, see so second let's go. You probably don't want to do the boss just because it's going to take a lot of effort and individual moons and stuff. Uh, we'll see how we do. I forget how many we need for Bubbling. I, I know it's more than the Snow Kingdom, but I forget how many. Oh no, it's ten. It's the same number. I thought it was more. I was wrong. Gonna bonk first. Gonna demonstrate wasting time. So you know what it looks like. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's definitely here. It's not in quite the right spot. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Pew pew pew. Okay, uh... The moon up there... You get that one. Hello, Goomba. Uh, I did see a moon, but I don't see it now. Oh, there it is. Reach that? I might need a, a gushin. Hmm. Probably faster just to grab a gushin than to not grab one, honestly. Most of this stuff. There we go. If I'd memorized that order, I could have saved some time there, but I hadn't. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, 
Uh, this is another foggy area. Uh, again, quite tricky coinless, not too tricky otherwise. Honestly, if you wanted like a really hard run of this game, I think coinless is a good choice. It's very, very hard to avoid getting coins in Odyssey. Much like uh, 3D Line and 3D World, the game just really wants to give you coins. For example. <laughs> And yeah, if you defeat an enemy at all, even if it's something else other than you doing it, you still get the coins, so yeah. Four out of ten. We probably won't do any of the hint arts because going back to another kingdom is super slow. Uh, probably way more than ever than it's worth. There we go. That was pretty easy. Yeah! Okay, there's a Gushin. Come here, Gushin. I need to become you. Okay, the number of moons I can get using only your power. Actually, I can get some of them without your power, but I have your power and I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Yeah! Okay, uh... The way Gushin's control is kind of weird. Uh, this one is very easy to do without the Gushin, but we have a Gushin, so we're gonna use it. Yeah! And we can take our Gushin over this way. Nab an additional two moons from this area. Yeah. Okay, so that's both of those done. Uh, we need one more moon from somewhere. The shop right here, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> Now done in bub lane. There are presumably other ways of doing that, but eh, that's one way to get 10 moons, so.
Okay, onward to luncheon. You can technically skip the boss here, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, you get a moon for beating the boss. Possibly a multi-moon? I can't remember. Um, and, you know, it's quite difficult to get past them anyway, so... Probably best just to do it. Get it over with. Here you need, that's 18 moons, my goodness. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! That one's very easy, way to start. Uh. Here's the boss. Guy again. Jumping on him is kind of tricky. No, it's actually not that tricky. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so it's just one moon, um, but it does mean we can get into the next bit pretty easily, so. Thought it might be a multi-moon, but it is not. Under the cheese rocks. Is it here or somewhere else? I think it's the next hill across that I'm looking for. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I'll come back to that. Or I might not. I don't know. Moon in here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. <laughs> Is the middle one? This one cuts any unskippable, by the way. This one is skippable. Oh, 
Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, that's another multi moon. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. All right. Got all these things. What about this bit? Okay. I can go progress. Um. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -da -ba I think five more moons. Unskippable cutscene here. I'm guessing getting all the story moons is not the fastest way because there's so many cutscenes this way. Whereas if you get the other kinds of moons, there are no cutscenes. Getting close. I forget if that chest has a moon in it or something else. Got coins in it. If you want coins, you can get some. Uh, that's just purple coin, we don't need that. Uh, dang it. Mario, no. Mario walked forward without my permission. everywhere. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, that way's not working. I'm gonna try another way. Oh. I think my luck has run out. <laughs> oh my god. That's real bad. Fight the boss. I don't know. It's probably not the best way to get moons, but it gives you three of them, so something. I'm gonna skip the cutscene, but it's not a cutscene. Now it's a cutscene. One hit. Needs three, like most bosses in video games. game is harder because it knows I'm doing a speed run. <laughs> I've never seen those little like lava rivers actually have stuff in them before. Okay, that took, what, 15 minutes or something? Mm. Ruin Kingdom shouldn't take too long. Uh, Bowser's Kingdom might be a problem. Moon Kingdom should be fine. Uh, it's only an another moon here, actually. Uh, let me see. Oh my god. I'm just playing incredibly badly. We already got that one, but there is another one up here that we can get pretty easily. Weehoo! Over there. Yeah! Okay. Okay, and now I have a half hour to beat the last few areas of the game. There we go. Again, I don't think Ruined Kingdom will be a huge problem. Uh, it's just the boss battle, and 
it's not like a super hard boss battle. Unless you're crouching, and I'm not going to be crouching this time. But it should be theoretically okay. Uh, but then Bowsette's Kingdom, there's a bunch of stuff to do there, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the Moon Kingdom. Uh, we, we can take a pretty big shortcut there, so I don't think it'll take that long. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. If you're familiar with speedrunning this game, you might already know about it. Okay, Odyssey's broken. Yeah. So what we gotta do to fix the Odyssey this time is get three moons. The only way to do that is to fight the boss. Uh, there is like one other moon you can get, but to get to three, you actually have to do the boss and get the multi-moon. Okay, boss time. I don't think there's a way to make this boss faster, apart from just doing it. Most of the bosses in the game have a way to skip their, like, phases and stuff, but I don't know if this one has that. You can't, like, attack them at all while they're shooting out lightning, because they're really high up, and also... They're filled with lightning and you can't touch them. So, I don't know. Basically, if I don't beat this in one go, it's a bust for doing this in two hours, TBH. Even if this boss isn't that hard. Two. It only takes three hits, so we're nearly done. Uh, like I said, this is only going to take a couple minutes, but... <sighs> I am concerned about Bowsette's Kingdom. Mm, taking a hit here and there is okay. I usually take a hit from this thing. Okay, we did it. First try we did it. So we'll be fine. Hopefully. There's a lot of shit to do in the next kingdom, so... We'll see. I'll try to do it as quickly as possible, I guess. Okay, yeah, so it just takes us back to the Odyssey, and because we have three moons now, we can fix the Odyssey. Okay, so here you have to do every story moon. You also need a few extra moons. I think it's like two or three. Uh, so I'm gonna grab a couple of moons on the way. Uh, I'm gonna start by grabbing this one over here just because it's really easy. Happy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. All right. Uh, now let's head on in and immediately bonk. Wasting time. For some reason the door opens the first time you visit, but not on later visits. It's kind of weird. Maybe because they've already left? I don't know. I'm not sure what the logic is.
You, you can get up there with like a good triple jump, but I'm messing it up, so let's just do it this way. And then you have to go kill that, uh, bomb type guy. It's pretty easy. And your reward for that is the first story moon. Unfortunately, we can't skip any of the story moons, like, cutscenes or anything, because we have to do all the story moons. So... <sighs> We're just gonna have to live with that. Okay, this one's made of moon shards, so we're gonna have to find them all. Again, this area is kind of a nightmare coinless. Dodge those guys, don't care about them. Come here. Do that. Go. And the last one is over here. There we go. Second story moon done, not too much hassle. Probably grab an, like a couple of other moons as we go because I'm not sure exactly how many extras you need. Da -da 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 -ba -da -ba. Okay, and that opens up the next area. Let's just real quick grab one of these moons. Maybe both, just in case. should be enough, I think. If that's not enough, we'll have a problem. Okay, next up we have some boss rematches. On this side, we face... This gal. We haven't seen her before in this run, but she was in the Sand Kingdom. What you're supposed to do is knock her bombs back at her to get her to go faster. If you don't do that, then eventually she throws some big bombs, which are much easier to knock back at her, basically. Two. Like most bosses, she takes three hits. So that's her taken care of. Close up that statue. Hmm, we're getting, the time is getting tight. Uh, face another boss over this side. Where's this guy? I 
think it's that one, but they're kind of a hassle to jump on. Yeah, it is. Oh god. Actually dying would be real bad. Okay, job done. Okay, uh, that's the last story room we need, uh, before the, like, end boss. So there's a boss at the end of this area which we have to do as well, and that'll give us a multi-moon. Uh, but there are no more intermediate story moons. Uh, we need a... this guy? <laughs> uh, Pakio. In order to make our way up here. Excuse me. Oh my god. longer than normal because I was panicking a little bit. Okay, so now we gotta do is the boss, which is over here. Not super hard, but it is kind of long, so we'll see how we go. There are ways of doing this uh, faster without needing a Pocchio, but they're much harder, so I want to try to go for the more reliable method. Uh, I say as I take damage. Oh my god. Two of four, there are, there are four you've got to beat. So we're halfway there. And then we should be able to just go immediately to the Moon Kingdom and take on the final area. Uh, which shouldn't take long. So... 
provided this doesn't go too badly, I think we can make it. It's not a good speedrun by any means. Like I mentioned, like good speedrunners take less than an hour to beat this game. Um, but, as someone who has no idea what the routes or any of the techniques are, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> Three of four. Taking no risks here because if I actually if I actually die, I have to restart the whole boss fight, and that's gonna just take up too much time. Okay, okay, that's the boss done. <sighs> okay, we're gonna have like 10 minutes to do the final area. Fingers crossed. Can't skip this, by the way. Okay, there's the multi moon. Okay, I got one more moon than I needed, but I think that's probably fine. It only took a little bit longer to get another moon. I think we'll be okay. 25, yeah. Okay. Oh god. Again, unskippable cutscene here. music here is really really good but I have to skip it and get there faster okay we're now on the moon okay we probably could not do the entire moon in the amount of time we have but we are going to skip most of it so we should be okay We have like nine minutes.
Okay, we get on the Sphinx. And about here. Uh, mess it up immediately. Dang it. I'm gonna take a couple tries. I don't know how many times we can afford to try to do this, though. Nope, we got it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I am hurrying, Cuppy. Quick, quick, quick. So yeah, we just skipped the vast majority of the Moon Kingdom, which will save us a lot of issues. <laughs> Cutscene. Cutscene. Okay. Okay, we got two more areas to do. We got Final Bowser. Sorry, Bowsette. Final Bowsette. Which we're about to take on. Final Bowsette is not hard. Basically the same as the one we already did. I think it's like one or two new abilities. Yeah, this. Uh, uh, she can now breathe fire, which, I mean, she sort of already did, but now she can do a big fire blasty thing. Which is new. Uh, it's still just three hits, so we should be alright. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, two. <sighs> okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, then the hats. The hats, 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 hats. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, that's the bo boss battle done. <laughs> Oops. Go, go over to start the next cutscene. Oh gosh, we're so close. Oh god. That goes there. Okay, we're now in the final sequence of the game. It's not super long, but it's gonna be tight. <laughs> section. I'm not going to do the XD skip. Because, you know, it doesn't save any time anyway. Gonna be a waste of time if we tried to use that. Oh, we are so close. Oh, 
Ah, oh, oh, nearly there. Oh, I love this part of the game so much. Do the blocks that bar your way. Sometimes the fear just let it all fall away. It's in me and you, just look at the way they stand. What if you live in a walled garden? I've got you, then I don't care. Pick up the wall and take the plunge. Dripping through two dimensions. Up on the moon, we'll phone swoon. Just lead the way. Yeah. <laughs> All in three dimensions. Follow the brick path straight to my heart. And we'll grab the flag together. The fireworks are gonna start. And that's time. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I did not think I could do that. I mean, I did think I could do that. I claimed I could, and that's why I made this video, but four minutes to spare. Oh my goodness. What an adventure. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let's just bask in the ending. Uh, time officially stops there when once the you zap off in the thing. So yeah, that's when the game is over. Also, Cappy and her sister reunited. Beauties, they look so happy. Look at their little eyes. I love them. Look in your eyes, and I know we'll be fine. Shoot for the stars and make this love really shine. Me and you, just look at the way they stare. So what if we live in a walled garden? As long as I've got you, then I don't care. Pick up the wall and take the plunge. Dripping through two dimensions. Up on the moon, we'll pull and swoon. Just lead the way. My hat in the ring, and you're the one. A miracle in three dimensions. Follow the brick path straight to my heart. And we'll grab the flag together. The fireworks are gonna start. Yeah! Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's a game. I'm gonna stop the video now before it gets to being actually two hours long so that it. Uh, so that my time is actually shorter when it gets uploaded. <laughs> It's a bit silly. Um, maybe I should let it go longer just as a surprise at the end, whether I manage to do it or not. Like, if I include the credits here, they don't count towards the time. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, <sighs> do you like how the credits have a bunch of stuff that I didn't see because we speed run the game? But yeah, that's not a very good. That's not a very good speed run. That is pretty much me playing the game as fast as I can without any special planning. Um, a bunch of things I could have done faster, a bunch of things I could have executed better. As you can see though, it's still, you know, less than two hours. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think I've proved my point. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun. Uh, although it was real scary at some times. Um, Oh jeez, I I did not know if I could make it through Bowser's Kingdom fast enough, uh, and I was I was almost considering not doing the Moon Cave skip, even though that would have made like the Moon area much longer. It's just it's a very tricky skip to do consistently. It takes it takes some precision, uh, but I managed to do it after only a couple tries, and I beat everything else in, in with the amount of time I needed to. So there you go. Uh, the recording time is now just over two hours, so I think I'm going to stop the video there. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope, you know, I had enough commentary as we were going. I was a little more focused on trying to do things efficiently here, 
Whereas in like my other experiments, it's just, you know, I'm trying to do this at all so I can try to t take some time to explain things and, you know, pad out the video a bit with just jokes and what whatnot. <laughs> Whereas here, yeah, I kind of had to focus. Uh, and it worked. Because, yeah, look at that time. Obviously those splits aren't perfect, like, I was doing it manually by pressing the button on my controls and whatever, but, you know, it's still clearly a good four minutes of, of, of time, uh, to spare, so, even if I was a few seconds out, obviously I did it in time. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I pretty much talked over the entire credits now, so I'm just gonna let the credits finish. Um, and then that's gonna be the video, so, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>